it's a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click the like, the subscribe, and the bell for notifications. to a story Fox and Friends first has been covering for months now. An arrest has been made in the case of missing California mom, Maya Miliete. Her estranged husband, Larry, has now been charged with murder after a SWAT team raided the couple's Chula Vista home. Her family and police heartbroken after working tirelessly to bring her home for the last nine months. Nothing will change the fact that May's murder is a senseless tragedy. A mother is gone. A family is broken. And a community is left with questions and confusion. The effect, this affects us all, but it affects most of all those who loved and cared for me. And Maya's family join us now, Mara Chris and Richard Drule, Maya's sister and brother-in-law. Good morning to you both. This has to be such an emotional time for you. Mara Chris, what was your reaction um, to learning of Larry's arrest? You know, it's been really, really hard, and it's it's a bittersweet. Um, you know, I was still hoping till you know yesterday that he is not the person that was responsible for my sister's disappearance. But you know, um, it's been hard for me, um, especially because he's been a family for. 20 years and um, he is the father of my nieces and nephews so it's really really heartbreaking for me and, and the whole family. It's been really hard. Richard, did you think this day would ever come? You know, you you mentally try to prepare yourself for something like this. I mean, to me, he was always kind of like a person of interest but there's no preparation enough um, you know, seeing your wife in pain every single day and it's not, it's not a, something that's, it's, it's a normal thing to go through. It's, it's really hard to get through. Um, it's just, it takes a lot of patience, especially working with the police departments and just trying to find the, the answers to, to all these questions that run through your head every single day. Yeah. And then seeing, seeing him being arrested, it's, it's really hard. <laughs> it's, you don't want it, but that's the truth. You know, you got to face the truth. Mara Chris, do you know what changed? Um, Larry, uh, Maya's husband, was a person of interest in this case for so long. Do you know what led to his arrest yesterday? Um, you know, they haven't really given us that much information or like a really detailed information uh, regarding the investigation because it is still active. So um, with that, um, you know, the DAs, are, uh, you know, haven't really had that much comment on that. Here is what the DA is saying. Let's take a listen. Starting in 2020 and continuing until January 7 of 2021, May wanted a divorce. Larry did not want the divorce. She wanted to continue being a parent and she tried to negotiate that they can be parents to their children, but not subject the children to a toxic relationship. But Larry would not have it. Richard, what stands out to you from that statement by the DA? Maya was scared of Larry for a long time. I think last year was like the breaking point for, for the relationship. Um, there was a lot of red flags and, um, you know, we never imagined something this, like this would happen. I mean, people get divorced all the time and people have issues in the relationship all the time. It was kind of like, you guys need a break from each other. But I think Larry just, he couldn't imagine himself without her. So, you know, something was, something snapped in his, in his head. And he broke him away. Yeah, Mayor Chris, what was Larry like um, before this? Uh, were there any red flags there within their relationship? 
Yeah, 20 years. Um, it's been, um, you know, it, it's not the perfect relationship, but the last year was really tough for them. But, um, you know, it's, it's um, I, I think uh, my sister probably just have fallen out of love from him. It, it's just a controlling. He, he yeah. just, he got very controlling. Um, and, and she, um, she didn't want that again. It got too toxic, the relationship that she didn't really want to be in that relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's, he's been, a, he's been a good person, you know, overall, um, he's been a good dad to his kids, mm -hmm. but he just couldn't imagine himself without my sister. So he did say that. He did say that multiple times, um, but we were hoping they'll be able to, you know, to um, uh, uh, be able to manage their, their uh, marriage. But, you know, unfortunately, my sister is done. Richard, before we let you both go, how are the kids doing this morning? Yeah, that's, we, we get asked that question a lot, especially in the last 24 hours. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see the kids. We really wanted to see the kids t uh, today. Or, you know, once we need that, Larry got arrested. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And we haven't had any contact with them. Um, we know that they are in good hands. They are with Larry's parents. Um, you know, his parents have been there um, for the kids. You know, most of the kids' lives, they... they um, you know, pretty much helped them raise raise the kids with you know Maya Larry, but um, I know they're safe, and we were told by the CPD that they are safe and they are in good health, and um, that's the most important thing. But hopefully, one day we'll we'll see them soon. We're praying for you. We're praying for the kids. We're praying for all the members of your family. Merry Chris and Richard. Thank you so much thank for being here. On, uh, has to be a very very tough morning for you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for having. Me. Thank you for joining us. is missing now is abandonment okay she abandoned the family oh she, hell no she never been in the family i know her she would have never done this all right guys drop them comments drop them opinions and with that it is a wrap i want to thank you all for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant i am out